So things that we need to build a temperature and humidity sensor is a DHT11 sensor, Arduino board, breadboard, and three jump wires. So first, plug in your humidity sensor into breadboard. But as you can notice, it has one uh, minus, another one goes to serial port. <coughs> so the one that goes to minus, which is this one, will connect that to a ground wire. <coughs> so ground wire is this. You can choose any of the ground wire. The middle one will connect it to five five volt battery. And the first one goes to the port that we are using. And it can be any of these. So you can start from zero and take it all the way to 13. So for this code we are putting it into uh, seventh one and then attach your Arduino to a USB cable and then it should be good to go. And attach this port to USB cable. Today we are going to learn how to build a temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, to do that, first go to Echo uh, and look for files in uh, computation design. Look for temperature and humidity sensor and download uh, download temperature and humidity uh, sketch for Arduino. For this program to build you have to have an Arduino uh, and you can open the sketch for humidity and temperature. First thing to check is whether you have assigned your correct board so make sure that if you are using uh, Arduino Mega uh, assign the correct board. Second is to check your correct port. If your computer has multiple ports, uh, make sure to choose the one from where uh, your Arduino data is coming. After that, uh, first thing is to verify sketch. Uh, many times you do get error, uh, but if uh, you don't get any compilation error, then it's good to upload. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds to upload it and then your sketch is ready to receive results. Uh, to see your results open up a serial monitor and in monitor you will see uh, temperature and humidity stamped. So I would let it run for a while and uh, we can see that because this is a controlled environment my temperature is constant at 22 degrees and humidity uh, doesn't change that much uh, but to verify if this is giving us a correct result what I'm going to do is bring this wet cloth uh, near the humidity sensor and if you place it next to the receiver, you'll see a significant increase in humidity. Uh, I would keep there for a while. And now when I'm removing it, you can see the humidity will drop again and try to go back to its original number. So yeah, uh, that's how we built humidity sensor and uh, this is pretty much it.